It's knife time, baby. Let's go. Look at this. New guitar. What does it say? Bean guitars. This guitar is a guitar I bought. Okay. And I'm not completely sure what to think about this guitar, really. I'll tell you why in a minute. And since you probably already read the title of this video, you probably know what guitar it is. But let's just pretend that you didn't. So we're gonna unbox this. Let's take it into the, the brighter light room. Oh, it's, it's heavy, man. That's a pretty shitty box, actually. Take, take a look. Maybe it's just been around a lot. Maybe they, this box has been whoring around. That happens. Joel, can you stand with your legs and pinch the guitar with your legs so it doesn't fall over? Look at that. What's gonna work? Teamwork. As we are unpacking and unboxing this guitar right here, Joel is learning the gimbal. This is both for educational use and for uh, bragging, I guess. So this is a bragging video, just like every other unboxing video I make. As you might know, the Dimebag Estate left Dean Guitars not too long ago. But before they did that, Chandro Guitars were working together with Dean Guitars to release a Dean Southern Cross. The Washburn Southern Cross, that, that's my white whale when it comes to guitar. And I have that guitar. I own my white whale. And that's, uh, it's just, it's the best feeling. That was the guitar I saw back in the day that Diamond was using. I always thought that the Southern Cross was the best looking Dimebag guitar. Uh, now I have one. I also have the Indonesian import version, which is called the Cross. And now Dean are releasing the uh, Dean Southern Cross, which is a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird, but I also couldn't pass up on the, uh, the opportunity to purchase one. So I did purchase one. Not only that, this Dean Southern Cross is going to be the absolute last Dean Dimebag guitars, because Dimebag Estate has moved on from Dean. And uh, I'm not gonna speculate on what's happening behind all of that, but all I know that the Dean Southern Cross are the last Dimebag guitars to ever be made. Uh, Dean Dimebag guitars to be made, may I add. I'm just being really careful about not cutting the case. It, it's a weird kind of excitement, you know? Because even though it's a Southern Cross, I don't know if, if it's even called a Southern Cross, but even if it's close to a Southern Cross, it's not a Washburn Southern Cross, it's a Dean Southern Cross. And, and also I wanna, Huge thank you to Chandro Guitars that ordered these guitars in the first place. I, I got one of the first ones they made. So uh, thank you so much to them. What does it say? 21 -10 -10. So maybe this is the start of the production right there. Uh, 2021, uh, 10th of October. Snap! Snap! All right. Right now, I'm more excited than I was before. So, okay, let's open it up. BAM, baby! That looks pretty fucking sick. Holy shit. Oh, nice. <laughs> How's the gimbal working, Bill? <laughs> the absolute first difference that you would spot between the Washburn Southern Cross and this Dean Southern Cross is that the Washburn Southern Cross had a flame maple top. This is a quilted maple top right there, as you can see. So, in that sense, it's, a, you know, pretty different from the Washburn Sound Cross, but it's still, you still have this cross right there. Uh, you have the cross inlays. That nice new guitar smell. Mahogany backside. Made in the US of A. Something I'm uh, noticing right now is that there's no cavity for the floor gross. It's a top mounted floor gross. Can you see that? That's very different from uh, the Washburn Dimebags that I have. I have a Dean from Hell guitar too. I don't remember if that was the case on that one too. It looks gorgeous though. Holy shit. All right, let's see what's in here. Dean USA. I guess this is like uh, just a pamphlet of uh, how things are being made. This is from Dean Guitar CEO Evan Rubinson right here. I guess it's a signed certificate. I already ruined it. I already f***ed it up. Who opens envelopes anymore, man? Have you opened an envelope in a while? Well, I guess every time you get a bill. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a point that you don't need to open envelopes anymore, but you do every month and you pay the bills. So here we go. Here's a certificate. 
From the desk of Dean Guitars President and CEO Evan Rubinson, I'd like to take this opportunity to personally congratulate you on your purchase of this amazing piece of instrumental art, your new Dean USA guitar. Uh, I think this is just a regular, you know, general certificate right there because it doesn't say anything about the actual guitar or the serial number. It's just a certificate that it's a uh, US made guitar. It could be for any US made Dean guitar. So uh, seeing that these were the absolute last Dean guitars, I guess that they ended on a pretty weird note. Dean guitars and Dimebag Estate. So Dimebucker, Seymour Duncan Dimebucker and the DMT neck pickup. Yeah, man. All right, so I'm gonna take this uh, into the other room. I'm gonna bring out my Washburn Sun and Cross because obviously we have to compare a little bit. I'm excited, holy shit, look at this. Dean Cross. I don't know if it's called the Southern Cross or if it's just Cross, I, I don't know. D the Dean, Dimebag, Cross. Also the best part about unboxing a guitar. Check it out. All right, so now I'm back in my room. Check this out. I have the Washburn Southern Cross right here and the new Dean Southern Cross. So as you can see, and as I said before, in regards of the finish, you can see the Washburn Southern Cross has a flame maple top right there, while the Dean Southern Cross has a quilted maple top. So in that sense, very different. Also, the Dean has a slightly darker tone to its maple than the Washburn Southern Cross. And obviously, the Washburn Southern Cross has a 59 in the neck. And also, as you can see, it has that recessed uh, Floyd Rose cavity right there, while this one is a top-mounted uh, Floyd Rose, so you don't have that cavity. Southern Cross has a bigger volute right there, as you might see, but the Dean Cross also has a volute. In terms of the other small things, the Dean Cross has the dime bag. Uh, pre-soldered <laughs> knobs, speed knobs right there, so you can grip these a little bit easier. It has the DMT neck pickup, while the Washburn Southern Cross has the uh, Seymour Duncan 59. The Washburn Southern Cross is numbered. These are not numbered, even though I, I'm not entirely sure how many they were supposed to make if there were 33 or something like that. I'm not completely sure because that was said before the Dimebag Estate left Dean, so now I'm not sure how many they will make. Maybe I can get a number. First time plugging in the Dean Cross, okay. That sounds good, and actually this little knob right here, it, it, it came in the case, I just didn't put it on, I forgot about it, but it definitely has one of these uh, for the switches right there, the little plastic uh, cover right there, so. Other than one string, it was in tune, actually. It feels really good to play. Okay, let me just plug in the Washburn Sound and Cross. Just want to compare, man. I just want to compare. Like I said before, this uh, Washburn Sound and Cross is my White Whale guitar that I finally got a hold of a couple of years back. Like, I can die now after I got this Washburn Sound and Cross. You know, that, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Like, 
seems that this guitar was tuned to standard D, so uh, we're not going to be able to compare exactly how they sound because this guitar was in standard E, this is in standard D, okay? <laughs> And immediately I can feel the neck on the Watchman Southern Cross has that slight little V-shape that Dimebag had on his guitars. While the Dean Southern Cross, it, it has a slight bit of that, but it's still way more round than the Southern Cross. <laughs> I love this guitar, man. But but this one feels really good too. I mean, playing wise, this guitar is on par with the Washburn Southern Cross. It's just that I'm not completely sure if it's okay that it's a D in Southern Cross. You know? It, it, there's just something off, a little bit off with this. <laughs> It's really easy to catch those artificial harmonics. My fingernails are too long for this. <laughs> To be honest, when I got the offer to purchase this guitar, I wasn't completely sure if it was the right move to buy it or not. But I feel now that I probably would have regretted it if I didn't get the guitar. This is gonna be the last Dean Dimebag guitar ever made. Unless Dimebag Estate goes back to Dean, but I seriously doubt they would ever go back to Dean again. So there you go, that's the Dean Cross right there. It's a well-built guitar. I cannot take that away. It's a well-built guitar. It plays super awesome. It looks absolutely gorgeous too. I mean, you can't really say anything about that. It looks absolutely sick. I am a little bit conflicted about this guitar. You know, it seems so right and it feels right. There's just something that feels a little bit off about Dean making a cross. But at the time, the Dimebag Estate, they approved it. Now, they're not working with Dean anymore. So, it's... All I can say is, I can't wait to see what's in the future about Dimebag guitars. There you go, that's my little video for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in uh, Dean Southern Cross or Dean Cross, you can get one from Chandro Guitars. They let me purchase one of the first ones, so I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. Maybe go like this video, why won't you? It, it actually helps with the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See ya. Goodbye. <laughs>